I started my company, My Ads Ideas, in 2008 when I was just eight years old. I create eco-friendly clothing and accessories, and my items are sold all over the world from Denmark, Italy, Australia, Canada, and more. I'm also an artist and an animator, and 10 to 20% of the profits I make go to local and global charities and environmental organizations. I knew that whatever passion I wanted to pursue, I wanted to do something to give back as well. My parents always instilled in me a need to give back to the environment and the community. I'm currently working on a project where I will give eco-friendly sanitary pads to girls in third world countries. A few years ago, I learned about how girls in other countries cannot go to school on their monthly cycle because they have no sanitary pads to wear. I know just how vital it is for a girl to get an education and the opportunity to go to school. These girls are resorting to using things like mud and even rocks in the place of sanitary products. So I've designed the pads, and what makes my pads unique is that they're environmentally friendly and they won't end up in the landfills. They're made from non-toxic pro-care barrier fabric and organic cotton, and I'm happy to report that in January 2015, the pads will go into production through my nonprofit, Maya's Ideas for the Planet. Now, I knew about MedShare before MedShare knew about me. <laughs> Last year, I was featured in the AJC because I had just finished writing and illustrating an environmental kids book called Lucy and Sammy Save the Environment. And in my interview, I also spoke about my Pads for Girls project. So after the interview was over, the reporter who was interviewing me, Sheila Poole, asked, have you heard of an organization called MedShare? You should contact them about your project. So shortly after the interview was published, I got emails from two different people, both asking me if I contacted MedShare. So I was like, wow, this must be a really amazing organization because I heard it from three different sources. So when I did more research on them, I was just totally blown away. In 2012, MedShare diverted an estimated 1.5 million pounds of medical surplus from landfills, landfills. And just take a moment to think about how awesome that is. As an environmentalist, I'm always talking to people about reusing and recycling valuable resources to help the environment and the community. And when I learned that MedShare collects surplus medical supplies from hospitals, manufacturers, and distributors, and then redistributes it to healthcare facilities in the developing world, I was amazed. MedShare is an incredible and impactful organization that's providing help and healing for people all over the world. Now, months ago, Holly Covette contacted me uh, and said she had saw my TED Women talk. And when I learned she wanted me to speak at this event today, I was just so excited, like I was just jumping up and down because I was so excited to speak at an organization that I'm just so passionate about. It's important for all of us to do our part in making the world a better place for girls and children and all people. And MedShare is doing just that through their commitment and dedication by meeting the critical healthcare needs of people all over the world. Thank you.